I have lost track of how many times I have watched that opening song of Yuri on Ice. Even after listening to it at the very least 30 plus times this week, I still decided to watch the opening song this week for the new episode of Yuri on Ice, and I was still mesmerized by the beauty of it, the music, the animation, just all, all around. The opening song, man, I, I just love that. I cannot express that enough of how much I truly love that opening song of Yuri on Ice. Now, besides that, pushing that to the side, this episode of Yuri on Ice, a lot of good plot progression going on, and a lot of characterization. So Yuri, he finds out that the reason why Victor is there in the first place is to become his coach. Pretty much to teach him to be a better ice skater, and also to be his teacher for he can continue to better himself and surprise the audience. And that is what's going on right now. Victor wants to train Yuri. But then, something interesting happens with this episode, which spices it up. So you remember the character in the first episode that was also introduced has a very similar name to our main character? His name is Yuri, our main male character is Yuri, both characters are named Yuri. Well, apparently... The person that was the other Yuri comes back in this episode, he finds out about Victor, and he's like, Victor, you gotta teach me, you gotta teach me, you promised me a long time ago, and then all of a sudden you have it to where both of these two Yuris are being in a, I guess, a battle against each other. They're rivals, and they're trying to overcome each other, who will get the person that will teach them, versus who will Victor teach. Whoever wins, Victor will teach, and that's what's going on now with the setup of this episode. So, there's a lot of stuff building up with this episode, with, you know, plot progression to characters to character development, and I mean, it's a really good direction that the series is going. Now, one of the things I instantly want to dive into before I get into anything else, let's talk about something that many might think could be possibly a turn-off to the series, and this is something I kind of mentioned in my first impressions of Yuri on Ice in my first episode, you know, review. I talked about it, and I said that many might not like the series because of some of the yaoi undertones. I, I mentioned it when that episode came out, and with this episode, there is, once again, more yaoi undertones, and I can see where many might not like this episode because of that, but personally, I can look past that and I can enjoy the main point of this series and what it's trying to represent, and I, I know many might not like the series for those tones, so if you still don't like those tones and it really turned you off from the episode, it might be that type of series you just need to draw because of the direction the series is going and probably it's going to be more stuff like that. But regardless of that though, the episode, I feel, in terms of what it meant, it was a little bit simpler than last week's episode. It was just simply fantastic with the first episode, which was a good thing. Because, you know, with the first episode of a series, usually the studio, they need to kind of drag in the audience. They need to kind of grab you by the fucking collar and like, hey, you need to watch this series. That's what a first episode should do. It should make you interested enough to where you want to continue watching the series because it's just that fucking good. And it did enough with the first episode to warrant me to continue watching the series, which is why I'm here right now. And the episode two, it's, I don't think it's as good good as episode one in terms of just stunning quality and the music to the ice skating but when it came to this episode and the direction it's going, it's very positive, especially with, you know, Victor. Now, Victor as a character, he surprised me. I expected him to be more of a, uh, a serious tone person that doesn't laugh or joke around. But after witnessing his character in this episode, he is serious, obviously. He's a serious teacher, but he has that atmosphere about him that seems happy-go-lucky, especially the way he treats both Yuri's, the way he talks to them, the way he, you know, tries to train them. Overall, he's a very good teacher from what I'm seeing. But I expected him to be more stern, someone that's more stuck up and serious, never smiling. And him showing that type of expression in this episode, it was really nice. I liked his character. I do like Victor so far and his personality. Now, Yurio, which is I want to title the rival of our main male character, Yuri. I'm going to call him Yurio because that was the nickname he was given in this episode. So, Yurio, as a character... His personality is very simplistic, it's something you would expect from his type of character, and when he saw that shirt in the middle of the store, and he's like, oh, that's so awesome, and he bought it, yeah, I mean, the overall character introduction of Rurio, and we get to see his personality, very positive. So the main point of this episode, I guess, was introducing Yurio's personality, what type of character he is, and also Victor as well, his type of personality, what type of role he will play in the series. So I expected, you know, Victor to be someone that would have been a rival to Yuri our MC, but apparently he's not. He's going to be a teacher, and judging by what he wants to do and what he's been always striving to do, he always wants to surprise the audience. He always wants to surprise everyone when he goes on to the ring and he starts ice skating. He always wants to surprise the individuals that watch 
watch him. And he says since he's Victor, he's the number one champion, he's, you know, pretty fucking good, nobody can really be surprised with him anymore. For instance, even if he did something that was never done before, nobody will be really surprised with Victor because they know how good he is. And so it, it just ruins that amazement of the fans because nobody ever can be like all struck, like, holy shit, he just did that if they've already seen all of his other stuff. So Victor, at this time, he's kind of lost that inspiration, something that he really likes to do, something that drives him. And I feel like the reason why he wanted to become a coach in the first place might be because of the very reason we found out why he was doing ice skating in the first place. He probably wanted to be a coach to surprise the audience, because the audience would never expect someone that is that good at ice skating just to, just to quit and then, you know, go off for one complete season just to teach someone and teach someone how to ice skate and be their coach. That's really surprising, and most likely the reason why he wanted to do that was to surprise everyone, and then also the reason why he's also teaching Nurio too is probably to surprise everyone as well. And so even if, you know, he doesn't, you know, ice skate, he's still surprising them, so his inspiration and his passion is still there. So that was the underlying, like, little bit of characterization that I think Victor in this episode, what it was trying to imply. But overall, though, I think the episode did a very good job with what it had. Animation and art quality looked just as good as the first episode. The only thing that was lacking was a good ice skating scene like we saw in last week's episode, but that's to be expected because they can't do stuff like that every single episode, or, you know, it would dull us. It would just be like, eh, it's every single episode, it just bore the fuck out of us. So I'm glad they're taking their time, they're not diving into the content like that instantly, even though it was so good and I would love to see more, I'm glad they're taking their time, they're spacing it out for some quality content we can get in future episodes. So yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, how do you feel about Yuri on Ice, how do you feel about this week's episode, did you enjoy it, did you hate it, how do you feel about the series, how do you feel about the Yaoi undertones, are you gonna drop this series because of that, or are you gonna continue watching and you're just gonna say fuck it, I don't care, just let me know your honest thoughts in the comments below. You all have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.